Blue ready, hut. Three star. Go, go. Right starting 24 in the old Monday. Ready? Ready. Hello there and welcome to an inside look at Southeastern football presented by the Southeastern Student Government Association and North Oaks Health System. I'm Alan Waddell and over the next half hour we'll take a look at the Lions big game against Texas State and look ahead to this weekend's contest against Sam Houston State. But first let me welcome to the show the head football coach of the Southeastern Lions, Coach Tommy Condell. Coach, thanks for being here. It's great to be here. Coach, this past weekend, uh, the last home game of the year, Texas State, uh, kind of the same thing, as, kind of the same theme as the last couple of weeks, fall behind early, fight back at the end, come up just short. You know, uh, we came out, I thought, the, uh, defensively, they came over the top uh, right off the first play, double moved us. Uh, we didn't come out with the same uh, level of intensity that we came out uh, the last couple of weeks defensively, as I thought. Uh, but we answered right back offensively. Uh, and then later on, we, for the first time the whole year, uh, we, we gave up some turnover. We lost a turnover battle uh, by throwing a, uh, some timely, untimely interceptions uh, in our own field. And it's one was a tip, but a couple were, uh, you know, obviously just a misdiagnosis of, uh, at the quarterback position. And when you have a quality offensive football team like Texas State is, you can't give them an opportunity. Uh, we did. We fought back, uh, but came up a little bit short. Uh, but, again, we have got to learn not to put ourselves in that position. Offensively, we had a, a, a good night statistically, but the key statistics that define winning – uh, we, we lacked, like, you know, the ball security issue. Well, Coach, it was also senior day, and Coach Lucas actually made an appearance as well. Yeah. I was very happy to see uh, Mike there and to be able to give them a, a sign-off. Uh, I think it was very special. All right, Coach, let's take our first break. When we come back, we'll take a look at the first half policy against Texas State. Welcome back to an inside look at Southeastern football presented by the Southeastern Student Government Association and North Oaks Health System. It was a day game this past Saturday at Strawberry Stadium. Let's go out and take a look at the first half highlights against Texas State. This is a start of senior day and there, there's Mike. I'm very happy to see him and uh, happy that he could be here to send the players that he's recruited and, and coached and has special relationships with. And, and there, there's one of them, Tony Johnson. And, and it's an emotional day. Our Bobcats really come out and uh, start fast. They double move us, and we miss a tackle here, and all of a sudden it's quickly it's 7-0. We come back, and, and I thought we did a great job. We start off here with a little shallow cross, and Andre Cryer makes some people miss and, and turns that little gain into about a 20-yard gain. Finally come back up here, and it's a great throw and catch by Brian and Chris Wilson. Uh, does a good job going over the top at number seven. We thought we, we liked that match up with Chris and we immediately took advantage of it and went seven to seven on him. You know, and tied them up and again. Uh, you know, he has a natural ability to go up after that football. He tacks it to its highest point and, uh, and we tie this football game up. And it is a great day to play football with the, the sun shining and and uh, it, it, we come right back out, and uh, Texas State being a very, very efficient on, on, uh, on offense. Uh, you see Tony Johnson making a, or a Trey Douglas, excuse me, making a play in the backfield. They end up making a good third down, and he moves around, the, and then Bradley George makes some great throws. That's one of the you know, top receivers in the league, and he does a great job, and you can't give that guy any time. They move down the field and, and run some speed option and take it in to make it up, uh, make it on that fourth and two and make it 14 to seven. We come back, handing the ball off to Jay. We're running a little bit of an ISO play. Uh, we get some great yards on it. And, and that's what we're trying to do, uh, be a little bit more physical and making sure we come out. And here's, here's one of the keys Right here on, third, you know, I think it was second down, and, and, and we end up throwing one of the, obviously another costly turnover uh, and, and not reading that corner. Uh, and they you just, you just can't be able to give a good offense like Texas State opportunities, uh, and they take advantage of it very, very quickly by hitting a glance post on the backside off a roll coverage. Uh, and, you know, Bradley is a, is a, a senior, and uh, he's good at reading coverages, and, 
and they end up going quickly up, you know, 21 to zero with our turnovers. Come back, and we have an opportunity. The ball gets tipped, and uh, it goes right in the back in the hands, and, and another turnover, immediate turnover uh, after 21 to seven. And again, they they cash in on it, you know, with a, they fake a, a dive to reverse and, and go over, over the top and throw it over with again they're one of their you know number one receiver in the conference. Very quickly, all of a sudden, you know they're up 28 to seven uh, in the first quarter. Come back out, we end up uh, throwing, showing a little bit of a option zone read, and going out to Andre Cryer. Here's it, and it's big. This on third down and four, and we, we get we get beat around on a twist. They do a good job, and and they put pressure on. We can't go back underneath. And in doing that, we lose a little bit of the field position battle that's so important. Uh, but once again, defensively, we get another turnover, and that was critical. We come back. Uh, we've been showing this play a little bit. We end up show, uh, giving a reverse off to Andre Cryer, and he makes something happen. You know, and, and trying to hang along that drag strip, as we call it, to get in. Come in, and, J and Jasper Ducks, he does a great job of getting in. We quick snap it. And he gets in there, and we make it 28 to 14, two-score game. Uh, we knew we were going to, you know, be a high-scoring, scoring affair. Uh, and they do a great job of getting in the end zone that, uh, up front uh, with Blas as a senior and, and Brad Barty doing a great job uh, of getting us in there. And there's Kevin Hughes, and then Chris Wilson, not only catching touchdowns but blocking for touchdowns as well. 28 to 14, you know, really critical at this point in time, trying to stop them. You know. Uh, but again, you know, they also have a great running back and, and able to move down the, the football field and, and put some pressure on us. And they end up doing a double move and working back to the post corner. Uh, and they get to us, and, and he makes a, a good throw and catch. You know, and those, those turnovers that we had early were a very tall tale sign because they were able to keep that score up. Uh, again, a two score game, and they make it up now to uh, 35 to 14. Come back out. And we move around. We end up here on third and nine. We have to be conscientious of where that those marks are. We end up quick snapping them on fourth and one, and we have an untimely penalty. Uh, we get the first down, uh, but all of a sudden they, you know, we're called for holding on the edge of the point of attack. Uh, and we're talking about here about uh, too many men on the field uh, while we were kind of quick snapping, uh, but. Uh, we end up going on third down. We have to punt it away. And now giving us an opportunity to defense uh, change. But we, ha we haven't changed field position. We obviously we got to get a couple first downs. Here is a critical uh, component, I thought. We end up throwing an interception. Uh, and, and, and we sh can't go down the road of desperation. 35 to 14, especially with, uh, with the offense and the way we were doing it. Uh, we had a lot of time. Third and 16, just give it off. Those changes of field position have to be very, very important. Defensively, we come out, and in order to stay in this ball game, we have to stop them. We have to make them kick a field goal, and we do. It gives us a chance to stay in this football game, and now I, it ends up being a, you know, a four-score game, but it, it, it's in striking distance, and that's what we needed it to be. Go move down the football field right away, uh, and now we have Tyler coming in here, and he did a great job to spark this thing. Given an opportunity, honestly, for, for Babin just to sit back, our quarterback to sit back. We end up here trying to kick a field goal, very important. Uh, and for the first time, you know, our, our All-American kicker actually misses, and, and he usually doesn't. But the snap and hold, and we end up at halftime 38-14. to 14. 